This video shows you how to use the custom user interface to manage attribute packages and set key performance indicators in vCenter Operations Manager. In vCenter Operations Manager, an attribute package defines a specific set of attributes or metrics to collect for a resource. When you assign an attribute package to a resource, vCenter Operations Manager collects metrics only for the attributes in that package. You can also identify the attributes that are most important in your environment as key performance indicators, or KPIs. vCenter Operations Manager treats KPIs differently from other attributes. For example, threshold violations by KPIs generate different types of alerts from non-KPI attributes and have a greater effect on the health values of a resource. To manage attribute packages, select Configuration from the Environment menu and then select Attribute Packages. You can view the attribute packages for a particular resource by selecting the adapter kind and resource kind for that resource. Because I want to view the attribute packages for virtual machines, I'm selecting the VMware adapter adapter kind and the virtual machine resource kind. Notice there are two attribute packages for virtual machines. The default attributes package starts empty and doesn't contain any attributes. The all attributes package contains all attributes. vCenter Operations Manager assigns the All Attributes package to all virtual machines by default. If you want to collect a subset of attributes for your virtual machine, you can clone an attribute package, edit the attributes in the cloned package, and assign the cloned package to your virtual machines. Now I'm going to show you how to edit the All Attributes package and set KPIs against the attributes that govern virtual machines. When you edit an attribute package, the available attributes appear in the left pane of the Manage Attribute Packages window. A check mark next to an attribute name indicates that vCenter Operations Manager is collecting metrics for that attribute. For this demonstration, I'm selecting the data store attribute called Disk Command Latency. When you select an attribute, information about that attribute appears in the upper right pane of the Manage Attribute Packages window. The checkboxes under the attribute description identify the attribute as a KPI. Select the first checkbox if you want a violation of the upper dynamic threshold to be a KPI. Select the second checkbox if you want a violation of the lower dynamic threshold to be a KPI. You can select both checkboxes for a single attribute. You can also set hard thresholds against an attribute by expanding the advanced configuration pane. You use the critical level drop-down menu to select the criticality level for the hard threshold and the Threshold Operator drop-down menu to select a Threshold Operator. Here I'm setting the Criticality level to Immediate, selecting the Greater Than Operator, and comparing the Hard Threshold to a value of 10 milliseconds. The increment is milliseconds because the Disk Command Latency attribute is measured in milliseconds. vCenter Operations Manager multiplies the Wait Cycle value by the Collection Interval to calculate the number of minutes that the hard threshold must be out of bounds before it generates an anomaly. Five minutes is the default collection cycle. I'm setting wait cycle to two because I want the hard threshold to remain out of bounds for at least two collection cycles, or 10 minutes, before an anomaly is generated. vCenter Operations Manager again multiplies the cancel cycle value by the collection interval to calculate the number of minutes that the hard threshold must be in bounds before it cancels an anomaly. I'm setting Cancel Cycle to 1 because I want vCenter Operations Manager to cancel the alert as soon as the hard threshold is back in bounds. For the next hard threshold, I'm setting the Criticality level to Critical, selecting the Greater Than operator, comparing the hard threshold to a value of 20 milliseconds, and using the same Wait Cycle and Cancel Cycle values. To define when a violation of a hard threshold actually becomes a KPI, select the Violation of the Hard Threshold as a Key Indicator checkbox and select a criticality level. The criticality level indicates the level that must be reached for a violation to be considered a KPI breach. Click OK to save your changes to the attribute package. After you click OK, vCenter Operations Manager changes the database and applies the changes to all of the virtual machines in your infrastructure. Now, when you view the attribute package, a red key icon appears on Data Store to indicate that it contains a KPI. The red key icon also appears on the Disk Command Latency attribute. For more information about managing attribute packages and setting KPIs, go to pubs.vmware.com.